started painting in the late 80s, tagging really, and then uh, it just kind of evolved from there. Met a good friend of mine who you know, I linked up with, became you know really good friends over the years, and painted a lot together, and it just evolved from from that. But I I started painting when I was in my my teens, and uh, just kind of kept it going to this. My buddy Brandon Diox, he's the, the most pivotal part really because the train collection is just mine but <clears throat> he's been able to take the showcase to a whole different level with the installation and you know us bringing people in to paint over them i think i had 30 or 40 trains and i had an art show in my shop i used to own the shops called covert and uh we did a little art show in the back and you know hung the trains with other art so that was officially the first one but we didn't really have a name for it then we did a another tiny giant show i think in like 2010 11 something like that i can't remember but we've done uh, this is our fourth show our third show under the name tiny giant um train community has been painting those model trains for years uh long before i think i even started collecting them but i ended up with two of them in uh something i had ordered on ebay in the bottom of a box of popcorn and my buddy sink and i painted them and it just sort of evolved from there. It started with, you know, from two trains to 30 trains to, you know, 400 trains to 800 trains. It just kept going. You know, to me, railroad art is really one of the last frontiers for illegal graffiti. You know, everything else is getting capped up real quick where you can't paint anything that's not legal and permission without getting in a lot of trouble or, you know, getting investigated. If you notice, the rails have just been getting smashed, you know, and that's really, right now, it's, it's, it's a pivotal part of, of the evolution and the, the, of graffiti living on, you know? Without that, I don't think you're gonna have much. We were able to dress uh, the gallery side with some art that was uh, submitted to us, my train collection, uh, some panels, some, some faux train panels that Diox had made. And then the other side, we did a live installation where we did uh, real live 40-foot panels uh, 40 foot train cars and um, and invited these guys to come and paint over them pretty prolific dudes in the, in the freight scene and uh, you know like I said they were gracious enough to come and paint for everybody uh, there was a retail space that the container yard lent us to kind of dress as a gallery and a little store and we did we, we had you know a week or so to put it together and you know they opened the doors to us all night and every day to 4 a.m. or more and it's great. I'm stoked that we're here and I'm stoked everybody's having a good time.